Good morning guys, how's it going? James here from Cardio Etc. So today on the Corvette, I am going to be trying to start making up the beauty panel for the amp rack in the back here. It is cold this morning. Two degrees outside apparently. Frickin' freezing. So I think my best bet on how to do this is just to start by measuring up the total width it needs to be cutting a piece at like to its maximum size and th and then starting to try and match the shape. I'll get the tape measure out and I'll do some measurements and see what I think it needs to do. Guys, like I've explained to you guys yesterday, the first piece is going to follow this line down to the floor and then and it's going to come up and kind of roll over here. The only thing I'm concerned about is the roll starting too close to the amps because when you have the kerfs too close to an edge it doesn't really work that well. Like you can't get this piece to roll, you can get the legs to roll, but this piece wants to stay up. Similar to what happened to Mark with his uh, subwoofer box piece that he tried to kerf for his uh, Jeep build. So I'm just gonna get the tape measure out, do some measurements, cut a piece, and kind of just do what I do, which is change and modify and cut as I go. That's kind of just how I do things, I don't, you know, measure up and design and figure out exactly what everything needs to be and then build it. I kind of just modify and cut as I go, it's just the way I do things. Because <laughs> things change, you know, your, your plans never work out, so you're best off just sort of going with the flow of whatever's going to fit. So yeah, that's what I need to do. By the way, uh, yesterday's video, the reason there's no music at the end, I did have a song, but um, I obviously, the one I chose was uh, a not a copyright free one and I did play it for too long unfortunately so there's no music at the end of yesterday's video it's current well there shouldn't be any music because at the moment I'm using YouTube to try and remove that song so that it can be monetized and uh, published because at the moment with that song in there it's been blocked worldwide let me refresh the page and see jeez my hands are cold <sighs> no nope, it's still editing it okay so yeah I also have to <sighs> I'll cut it to like it's full width at this stage and then depending on what material I wrap it in I'll have to take a very small amount off the edges of everything so that it can push up against things but width wise to start with if I just sort of go like this we're looking at around about 117 I'm, I'm guessing so what I'm doing guys, uh, I was thinking of trying to make a stencil up because it'll be easier to work with um, some of the sort of thin 3mm MDF to begin with and then copy that shape to a big thick piece but, in, but we don't have much of that and so rather than going and buying any uh, I've thought up, uh, I'll just try and make a stencil out of this uh, core flute. We've got spare ones of these and we don't ever display this one anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna make a try and make a stencil out of this. And the good thing is I can just use scissors and like cut and modify it as I go. So it should be easy to work with. I think it's already about 125 wide, which is perfect because I only I need it to be about oh look it's 123 and I only need 120. So I might not even cut the edge off, but I do need it to be I think about 45. ideal for making a template up for a profile of the um, sub box as well. I think one of you guys suggested that actually, one of you guys uh, mentioned core, flume, core flutes in the uh, comments. I always accidentally call them core flumes, I don't know why. Okay, here we go, this piece. <laughs>
Okay, so here's where I'm at guys. I've been, you know, slowly sort of taking slices off this thing trying to make it fit right and remember I got I've got to remember I can't just um, make it fit exact there has to be a bit of wiggle room for carpet but I think what I'm going to do is um, I've got this fitting almost exactly perfect there's a couple of extra gaps on some of the sides and I'm just trying to make it sit nicely in line it's not perfect but I think I'm happy with the shape and the general outline that I've got so I'm going to try to transfer this to a piece of wood now and um go from there. I'm wondering if I should transfer it to a piece of 3mm first. Oh, how much is 3mm? We'll have to go buy some. Because then I can just work on that. It'll take less time to get that to the exact shape than it will to get the 18mm uh, or 12mm, which is what I'm going to use to the right shape. And I've put this slice in here to simulate like a kerf, and that's going to roll over. I'm trying to decide whether to try and make this out of one piece or make one, two, three pieces. I think three pieces will just be easier, but what I'll do is once it's all built, I'll like file it and make it a nice round over so it all seems like one piece of wood and then it should just sort of sit on. And actually a really good way that's going to hold it on is uh, if it comes down to this point here, these things are actually going to hold it in. So you can just like go like that to get them out, put the thing on, once it's in, put these in and that will push up against it and lock it in, so that'll be ideal. Hmm, I think I would like to transfer it to a piece of 3mm, because it'd just be easier to work on that, bit by bit, than it will be to work on a piece of 12mm. Although 3mm does flex, I need something a wee bit thicker that is going to stay rigid. Maybe I should just use the 12mm, I don't know. Give me some time guys, I'm going to uh, try and figure out where I want to go from here. Okay guys, so here's where I'm at. I um, went to Mitre 10 and got a sheet of uh, 6mm MDF because this thing is just getting a bit too floppy and flimsy and I don't know if it's actually sitting flat or not. This is a bit more rigid so at least I know it's sitting square and everything like that. And I've been much more precise with this. I've marked the centre line and then measured out every single individual thing based uh, on specifications of the products and where I have mounted them in relation to each other. Like I've measured this distance and this distance and everything like that. And so what I'm gonna do now is rough cut out the holes with the jigsaw, like not relatively close, but not too close to the uh, lines. And then I think what I'm gonna do is, I haven't got any plastic mobile solutions templates, but I'm hoping with a piece of MDF, like some sticks of MDF, I can, uh, you know, use the flush trim router bit to transfer those lines in a nice straight way and then once I've done that and I've just tested to make sure this works I tried loading a, a slightly smaller bearing onto the flush drum router bit and with that where did it go with that piece it made where is my thing oh here it is so with that slightly smaller bearing what it did was it made this tiny little one and a half mil step in and what that's going to allow me to do is if I do that one and a half mil step around all of the holes once they're made perfect size and shape that's going to make them all slightly bigger by a wee bit and then I can follow it again with the flush drum right of it and that's going to make all of these holes exactly one and a half mils bigger in every direction allowing for material to go through the gap and a wee bit of not too much but a wee bit of slop so that it can move left and right a wee bit because it I highly doubt that I've actually got these uh, things lined up as dead perfect as I have measured here on the actual uh, mounting board. So that's my plan. I'm going to time lapse it, see how I go. Only thing I'm concerned about, I could probably quickly, before I do cut these out, is measure the, uh, the widths of these 45 degree cuts for the amplifiers because I don't want to accidentally cut into it and then you can and then it doesn't match up. So I'll measure that quickly before I do, before I start, but that's what I'm gonna do.
Okay, guys. Literally hours later. Here's where we're at. Oh man, I've got so much dust in my hair and my face and up my nose and everything. But anyway, at least it's looking pretty good so far. I uh, made up the template, made the holes to the sizes I wanted them, transferred it to this uh, piece of 12 mil. Which, by the way, I've done. Uh, I've taken a page out of Mark, out of Cardio Fabrications book, and done the rabbit around the outside for wrapping the uh, vinyl or carpet or whatever it is I use over. I have filed the hell out of this edge so that it's uh, very sloped and is designed to kind of match the gradient of the floor. And then the problem I came across, I was wondering why it wasn't going down in this corner. And I realized it was because it was actually uh, resting on the top of those RCA heads. It's a, only a problem on the four channel because on the t uh, mono block, the RCA heads are at the bottom row, whereas these ones have RCAs at the bottom and the top. So I've been filing a big chunk out of there, and I think I've almost got to the point where it does sit to the point that it, where I wanted it, because I want this to line up all the way around. And if I can, I can get those to line up, and these to line up, and it's all good. So, so far, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think that's just, just sitting in place. It's like, with it just sitting like this, it only, it's only up by a tiny bit more than what I wanted it to be. I did want it to sit down like another maybe five mils at the front, but I'm not really sure what it's sitting on. I honestly can't tell. Possibly it's sitting on some of the power cables that are there, but I have shoved them as far forward as I possibly can. I've shoved the cables as far out of the way as I can get them. And so get this, there we go. And it's sitting almost perfectly, except for this corner, which just kind of needs a wee bit of help being pushed down. If it turns out that I do need to take more out of this, um, like a big chunk here, that's actually not going to be a problem, because the next thing that I think I'm going to do is actually build some um, kind of inserty pieces which are going to follow this line down, these lines, and they're going to be raised up and meet with the top of the amp here and then they'll follow that gradient of the side of the amp as well. A couple of designy things and also by the way that's where that is going to sit and I'm very happy with how it's kind of looking. So that's where we're at guys. After I've done these bits I don't think I'll like I think I might get them done today but that'll be it. It's like nearly I've only got an hour left of work so I'm not sure what else I'm going to get done today. I'll try start these things. But after that I've got to build like a slight a top piece and a back piece. And then after that's all done, assemble it, glue it, wrap it, and then the idea is that it just literally sits onto place. And I think I'd like it if uh, this piece that is here comes all the way down to the base of this foot thing here, so that by putting these in you're actually kind of locking it into place. Have I gone the right way with that? So like you'd put it on and then you would go and put these in, twist and lock it into place by having the board all the way up against there. That's what I would like, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Lot of dust everywhere. Yep, that's just, I can't do anything about that. I will clean the car when it's finished. So yeah, I guess move on to adding some pieces to here. Height wise, I need to measure. Question is, would 12 mil do it? No, it looks like I need more like 15 or 16 mil. 15 mil would be perfect. I'll see what I can find. 20 minutes later. Okay guys, uh, I realised I didn't do an update between last time I talked to you and now, but I'm going to have to end the video here. It's the end of the day. So you saw where I got up to with this thing. What I've just been doing in that time in between is making up those bits of wood to go uh, to line up with the edge of the amp there. So this is what i got going on at the moment. I'm just gluing a piece of 9mm and 6mm together to make a 15mm spacer and once those are glued overnight I will I'll, I'll temporarily screw them to the board and use the flush trim router bit to match the shape like of the curve sort of deal I'll just sort of go from there to be honest I don't even know what my next step is my head's all over the place so that's where I'm at at the moment I think I did all right I got a I suppose the majority of the uh beauty panel made up like the hard bit anyway now it's just doing that thing getting them secured to here making the rest of it to wrap around to the back of the uh seats and after that is all built wrap it and it'll be done and it can just pop on yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i will catch you tomorrow kakitano